What the Kennel Club has done and what the breeds themselves are doing is to promote those breeds that have become forgotten. Um, in an age where particularly the Labrador, the Golden Retriever, some of these breeds are very, very popular, very well known, and people think to themselves, I've got my family, I need a dog to complete that family, I'll go and buy a Labrador, I'll go and buy a Cocker Spaniel. Those breeds, great breeds as they are, may not be the perfect fit for your lifestyle or for your family. And there are these older breeds that actually have just got lost in the mix and in over time, which still would make fantastic pets. And those breeds are the ones that really we're promoting to make sure people think about them if they're thinking of buying a new dog. Three years ago, the English setter was on the vulnerable list with very low registrations. Last year, the registrations increased to 326 because the Kennel Club gave them a lot of publicity and helped to make people aware of what a lovely breed they are. I think what the vulnerable breeds need is as much positive publicity. People have forgotten a breed exists and it comes to buying a puppy, they're not going to consider a Sky Terrier or a Glen of a Mall or whatever of the vulnerable breeds because they've probably never heard of them, so they don't know about them. So if we can get these breeds out there into the public eye and tell people about them, remind them that they exist and tell them the positive points of these breeds. I mean, there's a breed on the vulnerable breeds list that will match any lifestyle and any owner. So, you know, there's something there for everybody from a full coated breed to a small, smooth coated breed, from a little dog to a big dog. They're all on the vulnerable breeds list. A number of these breeds have been very popular over the years and they are breeds that make extremely good pets if people realise they exist. So it's, it's serious in as much as we want to make sure that the breeds remain healthy. If people are going to have them, they need to have a healthy dog. Hopefully, with the constant publicity, the numbers will raise. And that just by a few a year, over the years, obviously, you get more breeding dogs, you get more dogs out there. And the more they get seen in the street, then the more people will want them and people will want to learn something about them. So hopefully the future is good if we continue with the promotion.